Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my dear students. I hope that you all are fine and doing well at your home. So welcome back to our subject English class 7. We continue with unit 8. In previous video we have completed the poem Nobody's Friend. Today we will see prose The Little Bully which is adapted by Anit Blayton. Now look at here this picture students. One of the boy who pushed this girl and these two children are watching the, what he is doing with this girl. Now look at that might be this boy is fighting with this girl. So in this lesson we will see this only the how children are fighting children are fighting with each other and what they are doing and how they hurt each other now first look at this title the little bully now what's the meaning of bullying you know students the meaning of bully means a person who uses his or her strength or power to hurt or frighten people who are weaker. Now look at this picture. These two boys are fighting with each other. So definitely one boy is stronger than other. So bully means little. Little means small. A small bully. The small bully. The small boy who use his strength or power to hurt another boy who is weaker than him. So in this lesson also we will see one child, one small child who is behaving such a different way with other children. He is hurting other children. He is quite stronger than other children. Now let's see the lesson. So students first of all open your textbook Mary Good and look at page number 135. Now look at this introduction of the lesson. Do you know of any child who teases others or pushes them around? What would you call such a child? Read this story and see how Harry, a little boy, troubles other children. Now here, first question is for you children. That do you know of any child who teases others? Or pushes them around? Teases. Teases means that any child who laugh on you or who laugh on others who laughs at somebody either in a friendly way or in order to upset him or her you know person are laughing in two way maybe the person want to hurt other person so it's like a teasing way or the person is laughing to make that person happy but here teases teases means that somebody wants to hurt in a friendly way or maybe to upset someone or pushes them around. You know these things happen in a school if you remember. While going in a line you are complaining to teacher that ma'am or sir she is pushing me. So these things happen. What would you call such a child and this type of children if you see might you have seen so what you would say such a children read the story and see how harry a little boy troubles other children so here harry is a main character in this story here harry is like a small bully who frightened who uh, means uh, children are frightened because of him and he fight with other very much. So now we have to see in this lesson the how this Harry creating troubles for other children. And we have to learn that we will not do 
such a things which is done by Harry in this lesson. We have to become like all the children in this lesson, how they are doing work, how they are dealing with Harry. Now, look at the first paragraph of this lesson. Once upon a time, not so very long, there was a small boy called Harry. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise appear in half a second. Another tree he played was pricking people with a pin. So look at what Harry is doing. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, means not very long before this happened, but in the past this situation happened, this incident happened. Which incident happened? There was a small boy called Harry. The name of the boy is Harry. Although he wasn't very big and He's a child like other children. He's not very big. Means he's a small aged boy. Not very much big. Not elder one. He was strong. He's small but he is very strong. And he loved to tease all the boys and girls. Tease. I said to you before also. Tease means to laugh at somebody. Either in a friendly way. Or to upset somebody, to, uh, to upset other child. So, what is Harry doing? He's teasing boys also and girls also. And he loves to do this work, means he likes to do this work, like a habit. He make his habit like this. Who went to school with him? You know, I think you children are also doing in the van. Yes or no? Think about it. What he loved to do most was to pinch. Now another thing is, first what he loved to tease all the boys and girls while going to school. Now another thing is what he loved, he loved to do most was to pinch. Now what's the meaning of pinch? Pinch means to hold a piece of somebody's skin tightly between your thumb and first finger especially in order to hurt somebody you know when you're pinching someone it's hurt too much and immediately the skin become red or blue so he loved to hurt other in short he could make a big bruise and because of this pinch what happened bruise happened bruise means injury by blow to body or you can say the blue color or brown color or a, and a, like purple color mark will happen on the skin after somebody has beat you or somebody has pinched you. So because of pinching this type of mark appear in a skin of somebody within a half second. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pin. Now another thing what he likes to do that pricking people with a pin. Pricking means somebody feel pain with a sharp point. He is using sharp point means pin. He is using pin to hurt other. It's cause hurt. It's cause pain for somebody because he's using a sharp pain to hurt other so now look at this child is doing this all thing in a school by going to school by going to school he's doing so definitely he will do in a school also so this boy is doing this all things with other children now students just think about it that if someone do like this with you you like that boy or girl never we don't like this type of child 
so we too have not behave like this way we have to become a good boy and good girl now look at here next paragraph so you can guess how all the children hated him they tried pinching him back but that was no good because he could always pinch harder they didn't like telling that teacher because that was telling tales yes definitely if someone is doing these all things with you you never like this type of children so here everybody don't like him everybody hate this boy and when this boy is pinching them they also pinching back but what happened he is a very strong boy we have seen here only that he is small but very strong so he he didn't get any effect because he is always pinching harder than them now when they are telling to teacher so what they are thinking is only a story telling tales that was telling tales because every day these things happen and every day if you are complaining to someone so they also become tired by listening these things so they are also thinking that yeah this boy is habitual to do things so it's a no matter for everyone and there there isn't any research means he is doing the same things every day Now look at the third paragraph. It so happened that the class went for a picnic to the seaside for a whole day. All the children were most excited. Now one day what happened that is all children went to picnic and they went to seaside. Whole day they went went to picnic to the seaside. all the children were most excited and they were they are very happy because they are going to picnic now what happened in the picnic let's see on that day the sun shone bright and all the children were wild with excitement they crowded into the tree and sat down but nobody wanted to sit next to harry because he always pinched Now look at here. They went to picnic to seaside. The sun shone bright. All children are very happy, very very happy. White with excitement means overjoyed, over excitement. They crowded into the train. Now look at everybody here. One, two, three, three child set. Here two and maybe one in front of them. But look at here, Harry. He sat alone because nobody liked to sit with him. Why? Because he is pinching other children. That's why nobody liked to sit with him. He loved to tease other children. He loved to pinch other children. Even he is always pricking people with the pin. So definitely nobody liked to sit with him. Now look at here. He is sitting alone in this train. everybody look at here they are enjoying very much with the friend they are laughing they are talking too much with friend and look at here harry is sitting very silently because nobody like to sit with him so students what we have to do we have to become good we have to become a good boy and good boy we have to talk politely with other we would never hurt other we like to help other we have to help other so hurry loves to pinch and this all but what we have to we have to develop which value we have to we love to help other this value we have to develop now look at here open everybody page number 136 we continue with it when they arrived at the seaside out jumped all the children with a shout of joy down to the sands they raced hand in hand but nobody took harry's hand nobody went near him they sat they sat 
and the train also together to reach the seaside. Now they already arrived the seaside. They reached the two seaside. So everybody jumped from the train and shouting with the joy. They are jumping to the sands and they are taking a race. They are running. They are taking a race with each other. They are carrying the hand in each carrying hand in hand. But nobody liked to touch the Harry. Nobody took Harry's hand. Nobody went near him. Because earlier he was hurt too much to other children. So now nobody loves to go near Harry. Harry was angry. Now he became very angry that why other children are not coming to me? Why other children are not coming near to me? Not sitting with me. Harry was angry. He went to a sandy corner near a rocky pool and sat down by himself. He took out his lunch and looked at it. It was a good lunch. There were two hard-boiled eggs, six jam sandwiches, three pieces of bread and butter, a ginger cake and a bar of chocolate. He would eat it all by himself. He wouldn't offer anything to anyone. Now look at here, when nobody coming near to him, so he become very angry, but what, what should he do? Nothing. Others are enjoying too much. Only Harry who is alone and feeling so sad because nobody coming near to him. He went to a sandy corner. They went to seaside, that's why. We know that near sea, there will be sand. So here, he is sitting in a one corner of sand near a rocky pool and sat down by himself. He sat one of the rocky pool near sandy corner. Maybe this pool also become with the sand. So he sat there. He took out his lunch. Now what he will do? Nothing. So he just took out his lunch and looked at it. It was a good lunch. His mother gave him very nice lunch. There were two hard boiled eggs, six jam sandwiches, three pieces of bread and butter and ginger cake. He brought many things but he's alone will eat because nobody liked to come to him. Even he brought a bar of chocolate too. He would eat it all by himself and now look at here. Harry at everything himself. He wouldn't offer anything to anyone. But he did not offer anything to anybody. So look at the nature, the behavior of Harry. This is a good value? No. First eating anything we have to offer our friends, our elders, brother and sister, mom and dad if they are near to us. But what Harry is doing? Harry at everything himself without offering anybody. Now students, we stop here. We have learned here how Harry behaving with other children. And because of his bad behavior, children don't like to come with him, don't like to touch him, don't like to come near to him. They are enjoying themselves only. So students, what we have to do? We have to help other feet. Did not, we, we don't have to tease other, we don't have to pinch other, we don't have to hurt other. So we have to develop good values in our life. So students, learn everything. Uh, the new words which I say, the meaning, try to understand it. And if you have any doubts, you can write in the comment box. Do well. Do study well at your home and thank you and have a beautiful day.